Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing great. Today I'm going to go over three cream blushes from Bobbi Brown. They are the Pot Rouge for Lips and Cheek. Now, a couple of months ago, or maybe even, yeah, I don't know. She used to have, well, they used to have, I'm not going to say she because she's not with the company anymore, but they used to have so many colors that were so beautiful and it seems like they've really like downsized and now there's only three shades um so i'm gonna swatch those shades for you guys i'm gonna apply them just so you see you know how they look so if you're not familiar with the product this product has been around for a long time if you are a like bobby brown cosmetics lover you'll know this started out years ago i don't even know when it started out it used to be in like a pot and it had a screw top and it was clear and you got more product back then too but they've since then changed the packaging it's it's a more sleek package um and it comes like this and you get 3.7 grams of product i don't remember what the other one was i used to have it i don't have it anymore um these are really nice i usually keep these in my kit when I go do makeup, when I was like working at the studio in Montclair, at the Bobbi Brown studio, these were always one of my favorite products to use on customers because it was easy, it was quick, it was dewy, it was long wear. Like this weather is so humid, these would just stay on all day. So here are the three shades that are still available. Let me just do it this way. That way you guys, you can see them. This is Powder Pink, this is Fresh Melon, and this is Pale Pink. These are pretty much their nude. Um, are they gonna work across the board for all skin tones? I don't think all of them will, a few might. So let's just go straight into swatching. I'm gonna swatch Pale Pink first, which is a really popular one. I'm just gonna take that on my little spatula. This is pale pink. It is sort of like a bright pink. So you see how there's like a sheen to it? Like it's, it leaves you looking very radiant. So that's pale pink. Next, I'm gonna do fresh melon, which is definitely more of a nude. That's, oops. That's Fresh Melon. The coverage of these are nice too. They're, uh, it's, it's buildable. You can do either sheer or you can do kind of, I wouldn't say it's a full coverage color, but it's almost there. Definitely a medium coverage. And this is Powder Pink. Powder Pink is one that like kind of goes with anybody if you're, you know, fair to medium, maybe about tan pale pink is one that goes kind of across the board because it's such a bright color it will show up on like tan skins if your skin tone is like rich deep I don't know that it'll show up on you um, we used to have or there used to be a shade that was called chocolate cherry that was perfect for like rich skin tones and they did away with it so this is what's left <laughs> all right so I'm just gonna try some on. I, I always get stuck with an odd number of blushes sometimes and it's like I only have two cheeks to do it on. Anyways, um, I'll do Fresh Melon, which is this one, this middle one, on this cheek, just so we see how it looks. I apologize if I am like sweating. There's no like, there's no cross air ventilation right now and it's hot and I have the door closed because my kids are playing um so it's hot and I'm sweating <laughs> all right it's a fresh melon this one I don't know like I don't know how it's going to come up on my skin tone but we'll see it's very very nude okay um it's pretty it, it I think this would be good for like uh Kind of an everyday, oh god. It's a very nude color. But it is, it does come up on my skin, it's funny. This is not a color that I would have normally 
gravitated to, but it, it shows up on my skin tone, which I was actually impressed with. So very pretty, very natural, very like, um, my vibe, I guess. All right. We're going to do powder pink, which is this shade on that cheek. Powder pink is one of my favorites. Um, oh, and then just so you see, it's a very creamy formula. Like, it's so creamy. I should have mentioned that before. Um, you just, I mean, you would probably apply it from here. And you only need a little bit, like, work in small, um, like, in, in work in layers. So I'm just going to, like, smile a little bit. See? That's, that's pigmented. My way of putting on cream blushes, if you guys have watched a few of my videos, is I like to press the product in. Um, that way I don't really like lift foundation underneath. Not that I'm seeing that this is disturbing any of the foundation. It's not. And it's blending very easy. But like I said, you want to work in layers. Don't swipe a ton. Um, and I just, I don't like applying um, cream products like this like rubbing it on my face I don't like that I, it doesn't help I think it hurts more when you rub it on your face than just patting it so that's powder pink slightly deeper than this one I almost feel like fresh melon looks more radiant on my skin I don't know what do you guys think all right last is gonna be pale pink I'm just gonna I guess I'm gonna put it over this one. These can be layered on top of each other. I used to do that. I used to mix certain colors. Um, if I had like a, a bride or, you know, I'm doing a makeup application for somebody and I wanted to match like their lip color, they, you can totally mix them. I'm so bummed that they got rid of the other colors though. Like the other colors were so pretty. Like there was one called Uber Beige that was just like, you know, when you're in the summer and like you get that like that little bit of a tan, like that warmth to your cheek, that was pretty. Okay, so pale pink. It's brighter, as you can see. That's this shade here that I'm going to be doing. And I'm just going to... I need my mirror because I can't see. I'm going to put that over top. So it's definitely like... This color, you only need a little bit and it's, it's going to show. You can go heavy-handed on it if you want. I don't because... Um, I, I just think it's gonna, like for me, it's gonna look like I got slapped in the face. I don't wanna, <laughs> I got slapped in the face. It's just bright. So, oh my God, I'm so sweaty. But it's still pretty, it, it lifts the color. It's the same thing, I'll do it on the other side. Over the powder pink. You see how it, it just brightens the color up a bit. It's definitely not like, it's pretty and I like blush, but the pale pink for me is not my favorite color. Um, I actually really surprisingly like the fresh melon more and my go-to would usually be the powder pink. It's neutral, it kind of goes with, you know, whatever eye look you're doing. Um, but they're really nice products. If I don't know if it's something that anybody was interested in. Am I sweating? No. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if it's, you know, and if it's a product that has caught your eye or whatever. But I wanted to share with you guys the three swatches. So again, it's powder pink, fresh melon, pale pink. Fresh melon surprised me. So fresh melon surprised me a lot. That's the first one that we did. If you want to just like rewind the video a little bit. It was really like radiant and pretty. Um... I think that might be my favorite with uh, powder pink. The pale pink I would do without, but that's just me. If you are more porcelain skin tone, you might like the, or like porcelain fair skin tone, you might like the pale pink. It might like really um, complement your skin. I just, for me, I'm not too crazy about it. I like the other ones, but that's just my opinion. So I hope that you guys found this video enjoyable, informative, and um, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys have any questions or, you know, requests, feel free to comment down below. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.